I am doing more bike segments lately, and uh, I will get back to some nutrition topics, especially as it relates to the athlete. And um, I just did the video on the SRAM uh, cassette, if you saw that one, but I'm going through some components that I'll be putting on a, uh, my latest cross-country bike that'll be for this season, and so... Um, I'm not going to do a lot of tech uh, analyses of all this stuff. Um, I'll leave that to the other YouTube channels, but I'll explain kind of why and what I'm doing. Um, I've been a big fan of Niner. Um, I've had, I guess, a few now. And I've ha I have a Jet 9, I've had an RKT 9, and I've had some experience with them. And um, in fact, I'll open this first. This is from Niner. I um, have an RKT 9 cross country bike. I'm making a couple modifications on. Um, I will go over the bike later, but I wanted to go over a couple of changes. Uh, I was able to get a great deal on a three-star build, but I needed to make just a couple of modifications, including uh, putting a couple of carbon RDO parts from Niner. Um, they were blowing these out. And... Um, Prior, I had a 2017 RKT9 uh, that was a five-star build with the car Niner carbon wheels and was very happy with the bike except for two things. One is it was an 11-speed Shimano, and although I've always loved Shimano components, um, I found the shifting to be rather stiff and limited, of course, because it was an 1146 cassette in the back, and after trying a... Um, Eagle, I was hooked. So I have the got. I found this newer RKT9 that had the uh, GX drivetrain on it from SRAM, and um, but it's got a few components that needed just a little bit of a update upgrade. That is, so got the RDO carbon. We're going to do a Biggest Loser show uh, with bike parts. This is the. A Niner carbon post that came with the three star build 269.5 grams and as I weighed earlier the carbon RDO stem comes in at 213.2 that's 56.3 grams um, that's not totally insignificant uh, the main reason by the way was not weight actually I went with the RDO because of its compliance um, and it's what I've been riding on so here is the stem comparison um, just took off the standard Niner stem uh, both of these are aluminum but I'm going to be replacing it with this lighter weight RDO so the 80 millimeter stock stem on the RKT9 comes in at 127.4 so shaving a little bit more weight as I said earlier we're trimming it down a little bit so that comes to 18.8 grams saving sorry the 80 is being replaced with a 90 millimeter so this is the WTB uh, what is it? The SL8 Carbon Saddle. Alright, remove the packaging and just give you enough close here. So it's got the uh, anatomical cutout. Uh, this is a little bit more aggressive, narrow. Uh, I looked at the, um, oh, what's the name of that one? Silverado, I think it's called from WTB, and it's a little bit wider. So if you're somebody that needs a little bit more width, um, this is for a race bike, so um, narrow my hips. I know that I can, my sits bones will work just great on that. So weight, again, without the packaging comes in at, oh wow, packaging's heavy, 151.1 grams. A set of wheels, so uh, these are a wider rim, internal depth than I have ever had. And they will be the only the second set of carbon wheels that I have had a chance to ride. All right, so front wheels, Arch CB729, 15 by 110. So these are Boost, um, with all the, the stands signatures there. Uh, 28 spoke, 
the first look at the Stan's Arch CB7 wheels. I was distracted and had to pause as I unboxed and no one likes this, but when you unbox and realize you were shipped the wrong thing, no big deal. Basically the shop I used put Shimano Freeha body on here instead of the XD I had ordered. For those of you who aren't drinking bulletproof coffee to enhance your cycling performance, not only that, but your brain performance, uh, what are you waiting for? Um, front wheel, uh, 966 grams, if I can get it to, what do you call this, 966 to 0.1. Again, this is a 180 uh, rotor, center lock. Got the uh, XD uh, driver body on, installed here. Talking with stands and then looking at their um, their hub design for these Neos, the, the cartridge bearings are just right there when you open this up. And these are spacer kind of caps that go on the shaft for the uh, through axle. And the bearings are just right there. So for uh, greasing, maintenance, checking, it's a uh, very, very sleek design. And so as you can see, I've got the, uh, sorry for the shaking camera, I'm doing this all manually. Got our uh, free hub body on there. And uh, again, this does not have the uh, rotor installed yet. 956.4 rear wheel with the rotor installed and the XD driver. So that's uh, 1087.8. This is the moment I've been waiting for is to finally get this XX1 cassette onto the Stan's Arch CV7s. Uh, I did a short unboxing intro video on this uh, amazing cassette. So this is the XX1 Eagle. Um, it looks like they've already put some grease in. Uh, we are set. It was pre-greased, so you can see that there is a tiny gap back there, but it looks like it's uh, all dialed in. So let's take the weight now with the uh, both the rotor and the XX1 Eagle cassette, 14.54. Unfortunately, I was not very happy with how Stan's taped these wheels up, uh, coming tubeless ready with their rim tape. Um, thankfully, I had some extra tape, um, but I'm just pulling this out. This is in the rear wheel. There was. Uh, some coming up the sidewall. It looks like it was a really uh, rushed application. And uh, having done this a number of times, you don't want your rim tape on half-assed. So, all right. So, uh, took the valve core out and able to get the uh, tire to seat, and then let the air out, and it stayed up. Um, although I'd say this didn't give you the nice pop, uh, but it's sitting on the on the rim properly at least. So, good feeling about it. One thing I've really liked about Victoria and Max's tires is they have fit really well on the rims I've used. Okay, just got the uh, valve core out of the front and got this filled up. This one did pop onto the, on the rim. Uh, the Victoria, what I like, like I said about this and the uh, Max's tires is they fit really well. That is, they're snug. This was a little bit snugger. I had to use a tire iron to a uh, tire level lever. Anyway, we're so we're on, and I'm gonna put the fluid in. So, I'm gonna let the air back. Got the wheels uh, set up, tubeless. And these are the uh, carbon CB7s from Stans, the Arch. Uh, as you saw, I put the Mezcal in front and I have a Maxxis race in the rear. One seventy-six point two, And I weighed, weighed uh, 152, 1.2, see the map, zero. That is exactly 25 pounds. 
So it was about 26 and a half maybe pounds and then I got it down to 25.8 with the RDO changes. That's with the Arch MK3 stands wheels. And uh, then today with the carbon wheels and the Eagle cassette, the XX1 that is, I am down to 25 pounds. So yeah, almost a pound more. So not too shabby. This is pretty close to what my prior RKT9 with the Niner carbon wheels and the Stepcast 32 in the front. Uh, that's about what I weighed. It was a 1 by 11 XT. Uh, but when you can, and I think it was just under 24 pounds, excuse me, just under 25 pounds. And considering that I have a longer travel uh, 120 fork, the 34 Stepcast, uh, along with uh, what else? A little bit wider. A carbon wheel with the arch CB7s that is the internal diameter um, you know pretty typical wheel, uh, tires that I've run of course tubeless and I have one more cog uh, being it's a 1x12 so I'm pretty stoked uh, as I mentioned in the prior videos about when I unboxed this and talking about my uh, my 2017 RKT9 it was a, a great great race bike but I found that the uh, 100 millimeters of travel in the front uh, and a little more flex with the 32 step cast and uh, definitely quick, very quick. And um, But I wanted a 1x12 and I also wanted that just to be for your fork and more travel, a little bit more. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked. I'm really right back to about the same weight and I'll be, it'll be curious very interesting to kind of feel the geometry differences that are slight differences between the 2019 and the 2017 especially with the longer fork and my titanium spindles have arrived for my crank brothers pedal god so these are from china uh, but i have experience doing this i rebuilt my other egg beaters um, that are on my jet nine right now and took off uh, 30 40 grams i don't know what it came to